Okay, we're gonna take a bridge on the floor. Let your heels be in line with your sit bones. Curl your spine up and down. And then exhale up and down. Exhale up and down. And this is gonna wake up your hamstrings and wake up your glutes. And take three more. And take two. And then hold your hips up. And if you'd like, interlace your fingers at your lower back and walk the shoulders a little bit more underneath you. Hold for five, four, three, two. Now we are gonna add on, your right ankle can be on top of your left thigh so that you're getting one leg and a little hip stretch. Drop the hips and lift them 10 times with the left foot on the floor. Three, exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then let that foot down. Let's do the other ankle, the thigh. We're gonna go down and up. Exhale, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let that foot down, take the other leg up and point it towards the sky. We're gonna lower it and up and two, three, four, now the same leg, you're gonna pull the toes back. So it's a flex, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna put that foot down and take the other leg up and point it, point the toes, lower and lift. One, two, three, four. Now pull your toes back and do five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower your foot, lower your spine. Just for about five, let's take happy baby. Wake up those hamstrings. Five, four, three, two. Now legs go on a table. We're gonna take some crunches right and left. This is a abdominal rotation. You're gonna take your right shoulder towards your left knee your left shoulder towards your right knee. At this point, we're pointing our toes. To make it harder, you can bring your legs only to 90 degrees and away. To make it easier, pull the legs in closer to your belly. Now we're gonna pull the toes back. You're pressing through your heels, lift up the shoulder blades, feel the belly pull in. That way you're safe with your abdominal crunches while you're not hurting, so you're not hurting your back. Four, three, two and on the one gently take your hands to your inner ankles or your feet and press the knees wide this is bound angle five four three two both legs up now hands behind your head and lower and lift your legs a little bit lower your legs and lift now you can flex and point flex and point five four, three, two, and one. Now hug your legs in and just kind of like a cannonball, you can shake a little right and left. We are going to lift up the shoulder blades. We're in a ball, stretch out your arms and then hug your shins. Good Betty. And stretch out your arms and legs and hug your shins. Good Jean, open, and the open part is the hardest part. Your levers are far away from your fulcrum. You can add a point and a flex, point and a flex. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Feet down, curl up into a bridge. If you'd like to add on, lift your heels. Now with your heels up in the air, lift up and down bridge. So at this point, the heels are up. You're doing a bridge up and down. You're gonna feel your calves a little bit more. You wanna feel like each toe has equal weight and you're not letting the ankles sickle out to the side. So hold four more, do three more, do two more, 
Do one more, lower the heels, lower the spine, and then lift the legs into a bicycle. Now this may be enough because you can already feel your abs keeping your ribs down. Bicycle further away for harder. If you want to add on, bicycle your way up to your bootay and bicycle down, bicycle up to your booty and down and bicycle up and down and up and down and four and three. Good. Two and one. Now, if you want it harder, arms on your chest. That's gonna, you're gonna glue your elbows down. Four more. And if you do not want it harder, keep bicycling your arms beside your legs. Two, we have one more. One, now take a full body stretch. Arms overhead, legs long. Shift through your arms, shift through your legs. That's a uh, muscle called the QL that's doing that. And if you can add on, peel up and go over your legs. You got it. Roll down and I'm looking at you to make sure. And up. Good, and stretch. So keep going, I'm just gonna adjust my britches. When you do this, it kind of peels your pants down and over and exhale up and over. Good, Christina. Inhale and exhale over. You got it. Very good. And if you would like to make it harder, frame your face just like you're a picture frame. Your arms are going to be beside your ears. Go up, exhale over, roll down and over and down. And over and down. Now, if you would like to make it harder, you can place your spine in vertical, fingertips by your temples and hinge, and then you roll down. Inhale, exhale, peel up, go over your legs, lift up your spine, hinge, and roll down. Exhale, peel up, over. Lengthen, hinge, go down, and then one more. Exhale, up, over. Your spine is tall, you're gonna hinge, 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 and roll down, full body stretch. Very good. And now we're gonna add on single straight leg stretch. Lift one leg, lift up your shoulders, and then stretch your other leg up. Stretch your other leg up. Stretch your other leg. Now you have a hamstring stretch each time you pull one leg in and you have your abdominals working. Try to lift up high enough that you can look down the upper thighs. Now pull your toes back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Recover for a moment. Now on this next one, I'm going to take off my sock here. Put your two fingers around your big toe and you can put your left leg long and lift up and hold. Now this is an abdominal crunch. Feel that. And it's also the hamstring stretch. If it's too hard, let your head down and just do the stretch part. Try to look down to the toes. I don't want the neck to strain at all. You have an imaginary peach between your chin and your chest. Three, two, one, relax. Now take your other two fingers around your big toe. Straighten out your other leg about six inches off the floor. Take an inhale. As you exhale, nod the head yes. Look down toward those toes. Give about a peach underneath your chin and your chest. This hamstring's feeling a stretch. These abdominals are pulling in. Reach through those toes, the right leg. Five. Make sure the shoulder blades are off the mat so that you don't feel any neck pain. Four, belly in. Three, that's another way to do it, good Betty. Two, and relax. Both feet in your hands, happy baby. You can also stretch out your big toe or your pinky toe here away from the others. 
five. Anytime you get a chance to stretch out your toes, take it. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take the left leg long, send the right leg up. This is called leg circles. Draw a circle on the ceiling. One direction, 10 repetitions one way, 10 repetitions the other way, and the ribs are down, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, all right, let's go the other way and take 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hug that leg in. That's right, Cheryl. And you can move your foot and spread your toes and roll your ankles. Get some blood flow and mobility. Feels so good. Okay, let's take that right leg down and let's send that left leg up. We're gonna draw circles and your goal is to keep your ribs down, your shoulder blades down like lily pads on water. Four, five, six, now your ribs are down, seven, eight, your belly pulls in. The bigger the circle, the harder it is. Now go the other direction, push the other leg into the floor. Keep the neck soft. If your head kind of tilts off the floor, just fold up your mat or use a pillow underneath that head to keep it neutral. Now after that 10th one, let's hug that leg in. And you can move that ankle as well. And you can spread the toes. Both legs come in, move those ankles, spread those toes. Really take a moment to spread the toes a few times here. They need attention for all they do. Now lift up both legs. This is the corkscrew. Your hands are beside your pelvis. Circle the legs as a unit. Take an inhale. As you exhale, go the other way. Inhale. And exhale. And the other way. Glue your legs together for those inner thighs. And around and around okay let's take six more if it's too hard you can bend the knees which shortens the lever or you can make a smaller circle or you could go into an early child's pose stretch or excuse me legs in stretch two more around now let's go the other way around and hug your legs and you're just going to move those ankles very good Terrific. All right, left foot down, right leg out. This is called climb a tree, inhale, exhale. Now you can come up a little bit or come all the way up and stretch that hamstring and exhale. The hands are assisting your abdominals. You want your abdominals to do the majority of the work. Two, so fight gravity on the way down. One at the top, let's change it, left leg up and go down and exhale up inhale lower exhale up very good and three those look like they're getting easier you're doing great four we have one more five now you can either full body stretch or both legs up and come up teaser five teaser one it's called because the torso is going up and down three you can even leave the legs there long four we have one more hold the teaser five four three two take a breather feet soles together ah, take a little stretch forward this is a great place if you want some coffee or water or tea whatever you're drinking to take a sip and release some tension shake it out good and just take ten nine good dream eight seven beautiful six five four good betty three two 
And on the one, we're gonna turn that body over and we're taking a cat cow, which is your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna take this into a beast just for a moment. So in a moment, so you're gonna round your back, inhale, lift your sternum, lift your tailbone. And I'm showing this with the knees down for a moment because if you're hypermobile in the low back and you tend to have a really excessive sway like a gymnast, you actually have to put on the brakes so you don't hurt your back. So right here, upper back is our focus, not the lower back sagging. If you'd like to add on, curl your toes, lift your knees, exhale. This is called the beast. It's gonna be a lot more arm, a lot more ab. Keep your knees just a couple inches above the floor. As you do this cat cow four or beast three spinal mobility you're as young as your spine there's a saying in yoga you're as young as your spine so we're keeping it strong and mobile lower your knees bring the elbows down walk the feet back this is the plank now we'll go over the cues just hold your plank forearms are strong shoulder blades are flat on the back feel how your belly pulls up energize your knees now all toes have some weight on them so you're not uh, letting the heels stickle out add on an isometric cue where you pull your elbows towards your feet and your feet towards your elbows even though nothing really moves that isometric adds about 20 percent more ab contraction hold eight seven six five four three two and now on your side Take the elbow, prop yourself up. Take the bottom leg, and you're gonna tap the toe down in front of that leg, and then tap your toes down behind. This is gonna work the glute medius, the booty. Lift up through your ribs. This also works the, uh, this is called lumbopelvic stability, this area from the shoulders to the pelvis, the ribs to the pelvis. Really important for back care and helping keeping the intervertebral disc healthy. So lifting up, toe down, that's good for the hip, which is good for the back, good for bone density. Nice, two, two, one, one. Now we're gonna take this arm down and put that leg in front. It's gonna be passively stretching. Take the bottom leg and lift up like you're going over a giant cupcake. Tap, 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 and tap, you got it. Feel your inner thighs, feel your abdominals, and notice your neck. It might tend to want to tighten, but you're going to consciously relax any muscles you do not need to make this move happen. So it's called specification of contraction, specificity. Four, four, three, three, inner thighs, two, two, one, one. Now let's do those two leg exercises on the other side. Prop yourself up on the elbow. If you need a sip like me, grab it. <clears throat> Place the elbow down, tap the toe front, lift up, tap the toe back. Toe, toe. That looks beautiful. Three, I like your vertical humerus. Miss Michelle. And keep your upper body a little, lift up your upper body a little higher. See if you can lift your higher up a little bit, Christina. Even higher, yes. Eight, eight nine nine good your toes are pointing down too as well now this top leg is going to be in a restful position in front now take the bottom leg up up good this is inner thighs keep that bottom knee long you're doing great you're doing great all right up and up Great, okay, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Now we're gonna extend the legs, take the elbow on the floor and take a side plank static. Lift up and hold, 10. Your arm is vertical, nine. Your shoulder is, uh, your elbow is underneath your shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one good and then pam if you need to just make it a front plank or a bridge that would be good if your hips bothering you so come on up just make sure you're safe or hands and knees is another one ten nine lift up your hips eight seven six head back five 
four, three, two. Now come back to your forearms. We're gonna add on here. You're gonna take a dolphin, which is hips up. You see how that stretches out the calves. Hold that, five. That feels so good, four, three. Try to stay up there. We're gonna add on, two, bend one knee. Now one calf gets a deeper stretch in dolphin. Five, four, three, two. Now the other one, press that heel, five, four, three, two, both heels, stretch. It's gonna feel so good on the calves. Now you're gonna shift your weight to plank. Now shift back up to dolphin. Slowly shift to plank, because you wanna feel the abs on that transition. Slowly shift up to dolphin. Shift to plank. Shift to dolphin. Plank. You're doing great. Try four more. Three. Two. One and hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Perfect. Now come to the side. You're doing great. This top foot could go into a tree, calf, or inner thigh. We're going to hold up 10, 9, 8, 7. Again, um, Pam, if you need to do bridge or forearm plank, you can. 5, if your hip's bothering you in this. 3, 2, lower the hip. Take it to the other side. And your elbows down. You're going to put that foot up in a tree pose, probably on your calf, maybe on your inner thigh. Let's go up. 10. Beautiful, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, that looks beautiful, you're a star, three, two, one, lower your hip. Okay, back to the side plank, possibly add on a long leg lift, which is called star, five times, if not, just hold steady, so you're going to go up, now once you're up, lift up that leg towards the sky, five, good, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to lower the hip carefully, gently with control. Go to the other side. Elbow down, legs long, arm up. Here we go for five stars. Four, three, beautiful Cheryl. Two, good Michelle. One, these are really hard. Lower your booty. Take a big fat inner thigh stretch. Open up those legs. Also, if you need a sip here, this is another good chance. Mm -hmm. and go forward and yeah i uh, love to see everybody drinking that's great relax your neck relax your inner thighs it's gonna feel so good releasing tension doing great letting go And ten. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one, come back up. And if you need to stay there, you can. I wanna offer one reverse plank with the feet in front and the fingertips behind. But if you need to stay in that stretch, please do. Or if you need to bend your knees and do reverse table, just take in a 10 count here. Nine, eight, seven, good, Michelle. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower, perfect. And now we're gonna take about 30 seconds to roll down. One, two, three. If it's too easy, arms up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, scoop, nine, 
10. Legs might have to go further away. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And turn to the side. Double leg lift for 10. Go up, up, up. You feel your waist. Feel your um, body slightly biased to the front so your legs aren't drifting behind you. Either do 10 more or do the upper body lift to add on. Three, one or two arms overhead. Four, five. Now one hand can be on the floor if that helps, Michelle. Six, seven, eight. Keep going. Nine. If you'd like, take some banana boats here. We'll go up. Balance on your booty. I just need to move away from the wall. But you can see you start lying side. You exhale. Try not to throw your arms violently in front. Try to make the abdominals do this. Exhale. Hold. Five, four, three, two. Other side. So I'm going to face you. Double leg lift. It's going to be amazing. Not only are you working your core, your obliques, your QL, you're also working your outer hip and this bottom leg's inner thigh. Control on the way down. It's gonna work the negative. Five, six, the eccentric contraction. Seven, feel your waist. Eight, pulling in. Nine, possibly add on some upper body with the lower body, like a banana. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten now we're going to go up if you'd like this is the banana boat control nice cheryl and control down control balance on your booty come up come up yeah without without kicking if you can upper body might have to come up just a second before hold five four three two you got it and one. All right, now we're gonna take a set of either wall push-ups or floor push-ups. You choose. Take, we're gonna take two sets of 10. So take the time. If you don't like them on the floor, take them on the wall. I'm gonna put them on my, put on my knees. Another option is all fours. Another option is toes, but the ear is in line with the shoulder from the side view. It's so easy to accidentally let the head lead the way and go to the floor. Good. Five. You have some ab tone. When you're doing a good push up, you're doing a good plank. So you're going to feel the abdominals. Eight. Good. Make sure your head's not dropping. Pull it back. Nine. Now recover for a moment. And we're going to do another set of 10. Take an inhale. And let's do another set of 10. Now challenge yourself to keep the elbows close to the ribs and not wing out to the side. The elbows touch the ribs. They're pointing straight back. And that way your shoulder blade stability is even more supported. Elbows by your side. Now slow down and slow up. Slow down and slow up. All right, let's make it five more. Shoulder blades are down the back. Probably the most important cue. Shoulder blades are down the back. You're not letting the shoulder droop forward. Three two. Now, when you take a child's pose this time, or Michelle, if you want to interlace your fingers behind your back, that's good too. You can pat yourself five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to elbows and go into a plank. Now, if you want to add on, push forward through your toes, drop back through your heels, push, it's almost like you're a Gustav's Gloop on Willy Wonka and you're going through the tube in the chocolate factory. You're pushing forward and back. Four, three, two. Now rest your pelvis. Belly pulls up. So um, this cue is really important. Belly pulls up. If you want to add on, put your hands on the floor and press up. Ten, nine. Pam, I can't see you, but I know you're really pulling your belly up or you're staying low. Four, three, two. Now this is dynamic swan. Inhale, 
Exhale, lower your upper body, lift up both legs. Now lower your legs and lift up your upper body. And then lower your upper body and lift up your legs. Lift up your upper body. Lift up your legs. Upper body. Legs. Upper body. Legs. Upper body and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower your head. Now, when your head's down, it's comfortable in the neck. Lift up the right leg all by itself. Pull the leg long and lift up the left. Lift, 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 and lift. All right, we'll do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you can keep doing this or take your arms more like a Y and lift the right arm and the left leg, the left arm and the right leg. Another way to make this harder is all the limbs come off the floor. You really have to pull your belly in. Um, Pam, if that's too much, just do the legs or do cat cow arm leg reach. Five, four, three, two. Recover with a child's pose. Press your hips back. If you want to pull your toes under and add a foot stretch, you could do that here. I'm showing that to, yes, that, that ought to feel really good. It's kind of like your hands push on the floor. Your heels are straight up and down. That adds more of a foot stretch. Four. Three, two, and then on the one, come to your side. Uh, if you need a sip of water, grab it. We're going to do uh, elbow to knee on the side plank. Six rep repetitions. So this top arm is over your ear. Now lift up your hip. Now it goes like this, and then uh, Pam, if you need just normal planks, do normal planks. So two. So if anything ever... Uh, it's too much on one side, just do a bridge or a plank, two on the front, one. Now we are going to change sides. I like to be able to see you, so I'm just flipping my body. You're welcome to flip and turn the other way if you need to. Arm over, your ear, lift up, exhale, elbow to knee. Elbow, to, your bottom leg is really pressing hard. Three, everything looks good. Four, that's terrific. Five, and six, two. Terrific. Lie down, or sorry, sit down. Put your right foot in a, one of two places, crisscross applesauce, or up where your thigh meets your calf. Some of you might want it higher, like up here, which is called double fire log. You see how I'm the tightest uh, yoga teacher that ever lived in the hips. Okay, so I'm going to put it thigh to calf, let go of ego, and then forward fold. It's going to be a hip stretch. We are going to do the other side, so don't worry if you feel one side more than the other. Just enjoy this side and relax. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Now notice how that feels. Take a few more moments here. And then as you're ready, peel up. Take the other side. So it could be left foot in front or I'm going to put my thigh in calf area. Some of you might have it up higher. If you have it up higher in double fire log, your bottom shin moves out. So you see how that's a little tight for me. So I'm going to put thigh to calf um inner if i inhale both sit bones are down exhale fall forward and if you need to you can always double up your fist and make it a really comfortable place for your head and neck Woo! see if you feel a difference on the right and the left side relax as you exhale feel the hips drop Eight. 
seven, six, five, four, Take here a few more breaths. And then take another inhale. And as you exhale, gently come back up. And we're gonna let the body go to, at first, just to hands and knees. We're getting ready to take a down dog, so just make sure you have enough room. You can spread out your fingers like pieces of pyre between them, and once you have enough room, shift your hips back. Now, we can bend one knee, and one heel gets really long. Now bend the other knee, and one heel gets really long. We're gonna press one heel, and then the other. One heel, and then one heel. Now you can also lift up both heels and drop the heels. And when you drop the heels, try to lift the toes. I know it's hard, but it will add a, a more stretch. Lift your heels, drop your heels, and try to lift your toes. Lift your heels, drop your heels, try to lift up your toes. Lift up your heels, lift up your toes. Two more. One more, and then just settle into your stretch. Left foot pushes on the right heel. Take it for five. Now the left foot comes down. Put the right foot on top of the left heel and hold it for five. Both heels press, that should feel more open. Shift into a plank. If you can, pull your right knee under. If that's too much on your wrist, put your elbows down. Five, flamingo, four, three, two. Let that right foot back, let your left knee under. Five, four, three, two. Left foot back, right knee to left elbow. Five, four, three, two. Right foot back, left knee to the right elbow. Five, four, three, two, and down dog. Let your shins down, let your booty down. And we're gonna take one called the rack. Lift up your left arm, put it behind you, fingers away. Bend that elbow more than you think. And then lift the other arm and put the fingers away. Bend that elbow. Now bend both elbows because it's so easy to hyperextend here. Walk the hands closer together and or further away from your booty. Lift your heart. Go back to thinking about the elbows. They should be soft and not, if they hurt at all, they're probably hyperextended and we do not want that. Lift your heart. Good. Chest stretch, shoulder stretch. This is super for posture. This is one thing that we work on every single time is posture because so many of our tasks are forward, hobbies, work, driving, dishes, laundry, everything is so forward that if you do not intervene with a front opening and a back strengthening, the body will get rounded forward, adapting to the activities that we put it in uh, repetitively. So this is critical to stretch the front side, to strengthen the back side. Five, this should feel like it's Good for your posture. Four, breathe a little higher. Three, two, and one. Now the arms are gonna lift up and act like someone's pulling you out of your pelvis and reach, 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 and then go for your feet. Now I'm gonna hold hands with my toes. If you wanna hold hands with all your toes or some of your toes, you can. So there's fingers in between the especially the big toe and the, the second toe and the pinky toe and the fourth toe. So just feel that. Good. 
All right. You're going to feel a great stretch in your hamstrings. You're going to feel a great stretch in your calves and your toes if you have your hands holding your toes. And just basically scan. Make sure the knees are really good. The sit bones of the fanny are really good. There's no pulling in those joints. Feel your exhales letting you go deeper into the pose. And five. And four. And three. And two. Now bend one knee to the side like you're doing a tree pose and just work on the um, one leg. So basically you can interlace your fingers around that foot and drop the other knee and just relax. Ten. Now we're going to take another inhale and switch that leg. So one leg's long, one leg's bent like tree. You can go forward and you can even interlace your fingers around that foot. Yeah, and then relax your neck. Good. Yep. Feel your hip drop. Good, Pam. And let your exhales release you. Good, Cheryl. That looks great. And then we're going to inhale and slowly come back up. Let your feet be at the end of your mat. And you're going to leave a knee bend. If you need a sip, grab a sip. We're going to do some partial rollbacks with a turn. And I want you to just have fun and enjoy it. So act like you're putting your fingers in a beautiful alpine lake. I'm near this lake called Emerald Lake. And it's blue-green. So when we did a meditation the other day. I think it's at about 10,000. I'm going to bike it this weekend again, so I'll let you know. But it's on the way to 11,200 feet of elevation, and it's just beautiful. It's all the snow runoff water. And up. So you're just dipping your fingers in that alpine lake, emerald lake. It's going to feel like abdominals. And what you can do is pull your belly in. As you come up, you can exhale as you go down. Inhale, but to the ribs, not the belly. You always, always want to keep the belly active. We're going to do two more. So it's going to be one on each side after this. One. And one. Good. And now you're going to come down to one third and hold. Tiny little pulse. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, squeeze the knees together. Five, four, three, two. Now two thirds down. Time little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now drop two inches and take ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Full body stretch. Looking good. And then let those hands down. Put the feet on the floor, curl up into a bridge. Now in the bridge, we're gonna take 10 pulses at the top two inch bridges. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now the knees touch. Now do 10 little pulses, enter two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now wider, knees wider than the feet, but leave the feet the same. 10 little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and neutral. Hold, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Curl down, right ankle to the left thigh. Reach your hands through the window. And if you want to rock a little, you can. This is a great place if you need a sweatshirt to add it on because we're going to be stretching here. But otherwise, you're going to hold that hip in a little stretch. Feel the muscles release. And if you'd like to add on your ankle rolling, that's a nice um, addition because it's so free right now. You could also add on the spreading of the toes. Now that same uh, position, roll over, your right foot's on the floor, open up the right knee and let the right arm go out. Hip opener. Bye, Jean, have a good day. Thanks for coming. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, we're going to take another inhale, and as you exhale, slowly come up, and let's take the ankle to thigh. The first stretch is lying on your back, reach your hands through, and if you want to roll that ankle, you can, or spread the toes, or articulate point flex. Now you can add on that roll over, open up that left knee, left arm out, and hold. Five, four, three, two, and on the one, we're going to lie on the side and take a quad stretch. So you're going to put your right hand to your right foot. Your left arm is going to be like a pillow and pull the ribs under. Now this is one way to do the quad stretch. Another way, which is really great, is on the roller. Nice, nice, Betty, good. So you have a quad stretch, good. You can do that on the uh, long roller. Uh, Christine, it's hard to do it on the short roller, but just as long as you get a quad stretch and a hip flexor, pull the ribs down, pull the pubic bone up.
in five, four, three, two, and on the one, let's take that other one. So you could either roll on your other side, or if you're on the roller, you can pull your foot under. Ribs down, pubic bone up. Good. There you go, Cheryl. That should feel amazing. Breathing low in the diaphragm. And ten. And nine. And eight. Seven. Meanwhile, you're letting the rest of the body relax. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good, Michelle, we just did the second one. Come on up. Now we are going to take a rotation. I'm gonna show the eagle, but if you prefer another one, you can. You can cross your right thigh over your left and hook your right toes underneath your shin. Now lift up your booty and scooch it, and that's gonna um, make your hips perpendicular to the floor. Right arm out, left hand can help that thigh or that hip stay away from your waist. Oh, feels so good. Pam, if you don't feel enough stretch, you can pull your knees more underneath you. The more you bend them, the less stretch for most people, and the more underneath you, the more. So that's how you can make it your own. I like to push my hip away too and get that low back. Yeah, oh, 10. And then letting everything just go into the floor, the shoulder blade, the hand, the gaze is soft. Okay, we're going to take another inhale. As you're ready, you can go to the other side. You might take your left thigh over once, or if you can, hook the toes under for the twice wrap. Legs over to the right, left arm out, and relax here. You can push that hip away from you. You can put the knees more underneath your body if you need more stretch. All right, we'll take three, two, and on the one, gently relax, and you can put your feet up on the wall for a little relaxation, a uh, little bit of a help for the vessels. So let your heels up and relax your body into the mat. Imagine you're on a cloud and that you've become one with the cloud and the cloud is drifting you over the lands, over the mountains, over the rivers and the oceans, over the deserts and settling you down into whatever your most beautiful place is this morning. You just settle into that. And as you look around, just notice all the colors you see in your most beautiful place where there's total peace 
where no one expects anything of you. And the place is for your total rejuvenation and healing. Notice what colors you see. Notice the sounds that you hear, maybe birds or wind rustling some leaves. Notice what smells are in your most beautiful place, this most peaceful place. Notice how it feels, the energy of this most peaceful place and let yourself milk that feeling. Let all your cells feel that sense of peace. So you're looking. You're feeling, you're smelling, touching, just notice how it feels there in that place. How it sounds. And then take a moment to begin waking up your fingers and your toes and to make your way towards a comfortable position facing the front of the room. And just sitting up through your spine and let your hands come one over the other. There's a little space underneath your palm that you keep close to your heart. And it's the image of peace. You can have it in the form of a stone with the words written on it from your beautiful place or in the image of a cloud, the part of the cloud that got you to your beautiful place with the word peace on it, or a symbol that's meaningful to you. And just keep that sense of peace, that image and that sensation of that rock or that cloud underneath your palm. And connect with that with your breath. And that way, any time during the day when you feel disturbed, you can come back to that image of you holding that rock of the word peace or that cloud from your most beautiful place and come back to a sense of equilibrium. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room with much care. I'm so glad to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so glad to see you guys all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Take care, everybody. Take care.